Patrick Corbin making his fifth start of the season. Trying to get that ERA down into single digits over the course of this ball game. And Grant, fastball slider from this guy. Fewer change-ups. He'll mix in a cutter from time to time, but we know what we're going to get. Yeah. So here's Jesus Aguilar. It's Aguilar in Miami's order. This one on the ground to the left side. Castro to Harrison for one. The high throw that Bell snags gets the tag down. And that's a 5-4-3 double play. Tremendous athleticism by Josh Bell at first base to go up the ladder like a wide receiver and then slap the tag down at the bag before that in his last two starts. Ah, gets a swing and a miss there on a breaking ball in the dirt. First big league start for Paul Campbell, a rule five pick of the Marlins back in December. Originally a 21st round pick out of Clemson by the Rays in 2017. This is a really good player having a really good start to his year. The one two pitch is in the air left center field. Drifting over the center fielder, Brinson has the sunglasses down and makes the catch. Here comes a 2-1, and Harrison's on the move. Ground ball right side and through the hole. It was Rojas going to the back to cover on Harrison's stolen base attempt. That opened up a gap for that Hernandez ground ball. And the Nats have runners at the corners with one out. New Nationals this season. Ooh. That one got a piece of him. And just like that, the bases are loaded with just one out. And they're loaded up for Josh Bell. Out of the stretch, Kicks delivers, and a swing and a line drive, base hit into right field. Harrison will score from third. They'll hold Yadiel Hernandez at third. The second is Schwarber, and on the first with a single to right, and a run batted in is Josh Bell. And the 20th pitch of the inning from Campbell is grounded to third. Birdie comes home with it. They'll get the one. They'll get the one. That's an out. Wallach bobbled it on the transfer. So now two down base is still loaded for Andrew Stevenson. Two and two. And he gets him with the breaking ball. Boy, he danced through the raindrops on a clear sunny day in D.C. one nothing Nationals. Elevated on that fastball to get Adam Duvall swinging. The intentional pass, and now it'll be Paul Campbell who will try and help his own cause with two outs. It's another 2-2. Two -two. Fastball's in there. Patrick Corbin strikes out the opposing pitcher looking to get out of a jam in the second inning. Up the middle and through. Trey Turner continues that hot hitting and the Nats have two on with one out. So here's Josh Harrison. He, on a check swing, blooped a single to center field in the first inning. A few days back, swing and a little looper left center field. And coming on, Brinson dive. No, he'll stay at his feet. Can't get it. Drops in for a hit. Runners were frozen. Now rounding third. Coming in to score is Gomes. Throw to second to Harrison. Trying to get in there. And he is out at second base. With Turner holding it third. It's an RBI single for Harrison in the Nationals lead. Two to nothing. He's still blowing across from left to right, but not very briskly. Pitch is lined sharply on one hop. A diving stop. Turner on the outfield grass. Gets up, throws, and gets him by a step. Another special play for Trey Turner. Diving to his backhand out of the outfield grass. Takes a hit away from Jesus Aguilar. He can't get some quick out, so that inning got him back on track to hang around. Ground ball, that's Harrison in the shift. One away. Velocity is, is not an issue. Now it's about locating that heater. Tapper, he lets it go. Turner will take it himself, the jump throw. And they get the speedy John Birdie at first. A 6-3 double play will get Patrick Corbin out of the fourth inning. Here's John Gomes. Now he does. Swing a high drive, left field deep toward the corner. Chasing back is Duvall looking up, and there it goes. Jan Gomes with home run number two. A two-run shot, and the Nationals double their lead. It's 4-0 here in the fourth. A long soaring deep drive right down the left field line. And Jan Gomes has two hits and two times up, and two big runs batted in with that long ball. Runners moving, both of them. The Nats execute a double steal. And now Josh Bell will bat with the bases loaded and hit right-handed. This one shot to right field, and it's down. At least two runs are going to score here. Turner's in. Hernandez is in. Bob Henley's waving that right arm. And Josh Bell has cleared the bases with a two-out double. Mr. May, Josh Bell. Patrick Corbin looks like he's locking it back in. 
This one at Harrison in the air. He grabs it and for the second straight day, Josh Harrison completes a double play on a soft line drive right at his feet. And right back to him. Patrick Corbin is through five scoreless on just 73 pitches. The lefty is cruising. Here's Jesus Aguilar, 0 for 2 today. He hammers one a long way deep to left field. Back goes Schwarber at the wall. Goodbye, home run. Jesus Aguilar, his sixth homer in the last eight games, and the Marlins are on the scoreboard. It's 7 to 1. Here's Duval. He swings at the first pitch and skies one to right. Hernandez battling the sun as he moves in. He may have lost it. He's fighting it, and now he finds it and makes the catch down on his knees. What a play by Hernandez. And this one to left, a line drive caught by Schwarber. Birdie is coming in to score, and he will. So it's a five-run ball game. Still a runner in scoring position out there, but Corbin gets a ground ball to Castro. His throw is off the back, but again, Josh Bell doing a nice job over there. It was a clinic for Patrick Corbin. This is what it's supposed to look like. Be Austin both in to try and get the final three outs. Swing and a miss. Both blows 96 by John Birdie. And there's one out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. 97 from Austin Vogt. He's got back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the ninth. That'll play. That'll play. Both the pitch away from finishing this thing off. And he's got it. 97 again from Austin Vogt, who strikes out the side here in the ninth inning. And the Nationals have taken the first two games of this three-game set with Miami.